Brain gym exercises, more brain gym activities for your children. We are still in lockdown in many parts of the world. Kids are having to stay at home and study for hours. To take breaks is essential to avoid exhaustion. But then it is also important to be able to focus again on important tasks. How can you help your kids improve their concentration skills? Stay with me because today I'm going to show you five brain gym exercises for students that you can do with your kids at home. Let's get right into it. The first brain exercise that I want to share with you is called 7-3. It goes like this. 7-3 7-3 Seven, three, seven, three. Now the other side. Seven, three, seven, three, seven, three. You can also try it with all the fingers and make it easier or harder depending on how good you are already or how good your kids are. The next exercise to improve your child's concentration and coordination skills is called the elephant. Tell your kids that the elephant wants to touch his big ears with his trunk. Okay? He goes like this. Cross your arms, touch your nose, touch your ear. Cross your arms, touch your nose, touch your ear. Okay? Now a little faster. Yes. Now without stretching your arm. I need to concentrate <laughs> to make it right. For those of you that don't know me yet, my name is Andrea and I'm a language teacher specialized in multilingualism. I share in this channel tips, know-how and useful material to raise multilingual kids with success. Please subscribe and join my mailing list for more support. Check out the description in the box below. The next exercise to train your kid's brain is called Traffic Cup and it goes like this. Up. Up, 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 and now the other side, up, 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 so you stretch your arms to the side and to the front and up. Okay. My next exercise is called your brain because when you put both of your fists together it is more or less the size of your brain. So it goes like this. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. Open, close. Open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. And that leads us to the last brain exercise for today, which I like to call Itsy Bitsy Spider. And if your children are still preschoolers, you can even sing the song along while doing this. If they are older, you better don't sing. You should count or something. Okay, so what you do is this. Put your thumb with one of your fingers together and now you climb the ladder, right? And then you can sing Witsy Witsy Spider climb up the water spline or Witsy Witsy Araña su de la araña or um, le, um, in Danish? Lille peda eda cap crawler up a moon You know, you have this song in many languages. If your children are older, as I said before, if you want to make it more challenging, you can start using the other fingers. So like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Please note that the actual founder of Brain Gym Exercises is Dr. Paul E. Dennison. But the exercises that I showed today are only inspired by his and adapted for children. You can do these exercises with your children or students every time they need a break or before they start working on tasks that they need to concentrate. They are very good concentration and coordination exercises that will help connect both brain hemispheres. So go ahead and try them out. I hope you like this exercise. Let me know which was the hardest for you in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video called Brain Gym Exercises. More Brain Gym activities for your children. Don't forget to subscribe and watch these other videos for more fun concentration and coordination exercises for your students. This was Multilingual Family. Keep on doing a great job and talk to you soon.